stage, Janine Yurkovic, Economic Development Director for the City of Surprise. Um, with the 2023 Chairman's Recognition Award. Um, joining me in this really amazing acknowledgement are Glendale Council Members uh, Ray Molnar, Council Member Jamie Aldama, and Council Member Bart Turner. Would you please stand for just a moment just so we can acknowledge you and recognize you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so, what, you know, if you looked at the business journal this morning, the recipient of this award is featured. And so please read it. Please read about the amazing accomplishments. Um, uh, uh, Brian Friedman is my personal hero. Um, so I thank you for letting me do this. So I'll, I'll tell a few stories. And I promised Brian that he didn't have to speak if he didn't want to. He just has to come up here and get an award and look amazing. So um, I first met Brian. It was, I think, I think it was, we met, we met a long time ago, but when I first, I'll just say the first time I really connected with him, I'll rem I remember it. Um, it was at a luncheon kind of like this. Um, we sat together, it was in the fall of 2008. So I can, I can definitely track 15 years of friendship. Um, and he was one of those people, I liked him instantly. Do you, have you ever met people like that? You sit next to somebody and you just go, I like you and I'll just like you forever. And um, it's unexplainable. Um, and we talked and we talked and we met for coffee and we just said, you know what, someday we're gonna work together. And I don't know what that looks like, but just someday we will. And um, he had great staff in Glendale. I was very happy um, in my position, but right at the tail end of the Great Recession um, in 2012, um, I, I got my wish and I got to work with Brian Friedman. And it was amazing. Um, it was it was just, I, I, you know, it wasn't always an easy task working in the city of Glendale. We were building a, a lot of projects. Um, we had a lot to do. And the politics were never easy. <laughs> but um, I'll say, you know, looking back, it was the best economic development gig I've ever had. It really was. I, I mean, I had the support of a close friend. I had a great leader. And um, it just made it the best job that I've ever had. So um, I'm, I'm going to—I'm trying to hold my my composure because I just get emotional because I just adore him. So I want to say, you know, we've all had lots of different types of leaders in our lives. Um, we've had coaches. We've had, um, you know, some leaders that you have—they're bureaucratic. Some are autocratic. Some are just sort of live and let live, laissez-faire. Um, but Brian is a once-in-a-lifetime leader. Um, he's a servant leader. Um, he is just the kind of person that really challenges you to do better as a person, as a professional, and in such a way that it just feeds your heart. And, you know, that's just, just unbelievable. So he's not only the most kind and caring, thoughtful and engaging community servant and professional that I've ever had the honor of serving, um, he has spearheaded Glendale's economic transformation. He's driven solutions. I've watched him create results on the fly and, and just blow everything out of the water. He, he decimates all expectations and he's done it consistently just throughout his career. Um, he possesses probably the most astronomical intellect um, that I've ever had the privilege of, of working with. Um, he has ambition. He, he has Glendale at, at just in his heart. Um, he wants everything for Glendale and it's never for him. And I think, you know, that's, that's what I can say about him. He's very selfless. He has endless empathy and a genuine interest and a joyful heart for every person around him. Glendale's, um, Glendale has benefited and Brian's economic development leadership, his presence, his skill set will be missed throughout the West Valley. So I hope he doesn't go far. And we all owe him a huge debt of gratitude um, for his groundbreaking work. Um, and this will continue to bring results for all of us in the West Valley. So Brian, I'm going to ask you to come up to the stage and get your award, get a photograph, and be recognized. And you don't even have to say anything. Just let us appreciate you. Come on up.
<laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Um, quick thank you to the City Council and to Kevin Phelps, the entire Econ Dev team and the department heads. Not one time, not once, has the culture of our office with our superiors and those that work with us, have they ever failed us. We've had complete and total support. And that is why um, I've remained in Glendale all these years, and especially the last seven to eight years. We went from over a three year period on average collecting about $10 million in one time fees between 14, 15, 16 in that area to the last 30 months over $100 million in one time fees. We now have more jobs per capita uh, than two other great East Valley cities, which are Gilbert and Mesa. It is the West Valley's time. It is absolutely Glendale's future. I'm so happy for the balance of all these, the folks here that work with Glendale and with the West Valley. The sky really is the limit. Nothing at all will change with my departure for Glendale. The folks that are left there, um, Gene Moreno is my deputy prior, who's a department head. Randy Huggins is my former deputy, who's now the Development Services Director. Jesse Peterson is unbelievable, and I would just like to say, um, these folks were my secretaries or my development services representatives on temporary assignment. And I think when you find some people who, who operate from the heart, you can train the mind. And so the one thing I've done right, which includes Ms. Yerkovich, and just meeting and knowing her, is if you find that kind of special person, it doesn't matter what their title is. It, you can train the mind. And I think Janine Yerkovich, uh, Mark Perator, also mine, Eric Johnson, Christine Mackey's deputy, also mine. Um, all of these fantastic human beings were at one time as lowly as I. And long, long ago, <laughs> in my 20s, somebody gave me a chance to lead all construction activity of the stadiums, the arena, everything that's built here. I think that's crazy. In retrospect, who would do that? Are you nuts? Um, but they did it, and it completely lit my life on fire, and I'm forever grateful and humble. And this accounts for the sole and only award I've ever gotten in my life, I think. So, <laughs> I really appreciate it, because I tried to completely stay out of the limelight, and because that is for the people that I serve. And thank you for the time you gave me, the Center for the fantastic podium, Janine for the heartfelt messaging. And um, I'm so glad I didn't bust out tears. This is awesome, thank you. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.